get one at Tasia in your tank. They're a pest and enemy. They spread like wildfire. And the way they do that is by sending out their planula, the um, larvae that they send out through their oral disc into the system and they can attach on rocks, glass, anything in the system and spread. So today I'm going to show you a video on Red Sea's Aptasia Rex. I've used it many times before. Um, there's no ill effects to your system, no effect on pH, no effect on any of the perimeters and it goes away readily um, once you turn the flow back on. I'll show the product itself, I'll show you the anemone in question and I'll also show you how I rinse through the syringe afterwards so that it doesn't clog up with the product. Thank you. Okay, so here's the packaging to the Aptasia Rex and the contents. So this is the 60ml bottle. Now it cost me $15.99 which is just under $21. These are the two metal I suppose you'd call them syringe needles, um, but they're not needles, they're just tubular draw-ups. And one of them's at a slight right angle, which is good for hard to reach areas of Aptasia, and the other one's straight. And this is a syringe, I'm pretty sure this is the same plunger um, that come with it, a 2mm one. I use that many of them, as you can imagine you do as well. So, Aptasia, they, they spread quite quickly by um, shooting their, their larval stage called uh, Pranula around um, the tank and they can just start attaching to rock, glass and uh, before you know it, it gets out of hand. Um, they can sting corals, um, they're really resilient as well, I mean you could have a tank full of ammonia um, and it would still survive. I mean, even tank crashes and stuff, the main thing that survives is Aptasia. Um, this this product I've used for, for ages now, a few years, it's, it's fantastic. Now, I, I use dry rock in my system. And I added a bit of live rock from my old system, a nano tank. That's how this Aptasia's got in here. It's quite large now. Um, but I've wait for it to get a bit bigger so I can get it to it well. Now... The, the the trick is with this is that when you draw it up, you've got to get the solution all over the disc of the anemone. Because as soon as it realises that it's under attack, it will basically shoot out its spores, um, which is the planulas, into the system. It's like a, a, a final defence mechanism to try and save itself. And before you know it... You think you've killed one and you've got several more. Let me show the anemone that the Atasia anemone that I'm uh, dealing with. Okay, so there he is. He's getting quite close to my blasto colony. I can try and zoom in on him. Now you see the disc, the round area, and the area where it will shoot out its larvae when I, when I do um, use the Aptasia Rex is that slight. Uh, crease in the middle of it that slight slip so I'm going to record myself um, dealing with it with the Aptasia Rex and hopefully the video will catch it well and I'll show you how it's drawn up I've turned off all flow and um, that sent the fissure a bit kind of wild because they're not used to it and it's kicked up a bit of detritus but you need to have your flow off for this and Red Sea recommend you keep your flow off uh, for some time afterwards. I think it's around 15 to 20 minutes. Just to ensure that the product gets into the Aptasia well. It doesn't harm um, your reef inhabitants, corals, inverts. I've used it for years with no ill effects. And I can I can actually vouch for it. The fact that it doesn't affect water quality, either pH or anything. It's just fantastic. And once you turn the flow back on, it disperses, makes a bit of a cloud, and then it'll just get get sucked up into your skimmer. Or if you've got a filter sock, it'll go into your filter sock, and you never know. You might need to change your filter sock a bit a bit more often um, after after using it, because it could clog it clog it up easier. But I'll show you drawing up. 
So really shake the product up like Red Sea says to. Now last time I've used this uh, product I've made sure that I've rinsed through the needles so I know they're clear. Okay, I'm going to use a slight right angle one and you'll see why because I find it a lot easier to get to it at that angle. There you go, you've got a bit of clarity now on that. So that's the right angle one. So I'm going to draw up some of the solution. It's a pink solution. And I'll go for around two mils. There we go, that's in there. Okay, so you can see the Aptasia in the middle of a shot. I've had to turn the, the phone I'm using to like a uh, landscape view now. So hopefully on YouTube it's still a decent size screen. But it's the best I'm going to be able to do because I've got to use my step ladder to get up and down into the aquarium because it's a it's 30 inch deep tank. Now, I just looked at the instructions and the actual plunger for it, um, the syringe is, is actually three mils that you get with it. And Red Sea State to fill the um, syringe um, will with um, Aptasia X material fully. Um, I don't think there's a, you know, a, a minimum or amount that you should use. I think maximum... It states it's re really safe and doesn't have an effect on water quality. Quality, it says just to fill it up with three mils um, and treat as many Aptasia as possible. Well, I've only got the one, so that's what I'm going to be dealing with in this video. So I'm going to go over the aquarium, go down into the water, and I'm going to make sure that when I do squeeze the syringe i need to get it over the entire disc to prevent the release of the uh planulas and the aptasia does actually implode um and here we go Not a brilliant job. Not a brilliant job. It still stands. I've killed many an Aptasia. And that wasn't a fantastic job, if I'm honest. Because it still actually seems to remain quite intact. But these things happen. So I'm going to use a bit more. You've got to be quite quick at this. Yeah, that's destroyed. That's destroyed now. That's a lot better. What you've got to do is get a lot closer to the oral disc. 
Now my problem is because I've got a 30 inch deep tank it's sometimes hard to see round at what I'm doing but in your in a shallower reef you won't you won't have a problem with it. So what I'll do now I'll leave that for 15 minutes and turn back on the flow and I'll show you what it's like um, when it goes into the system and makes a little bit of a cloud. Okay so I've just turned the flow back on through my apex and you'll see the fine kind of granular Red Sea product Aptasia X dispersing into the water column it's not going to cause any problems it just looks like it's snowing in the tank the tank has gone a little bit wild because there is disturbance of turning flow off and back on again he always does look after a water change and that'll all disperse get taken up by my filter sock and I'm going to show you just swilling through the needles now with hot water okay so there's a the needle and what I do I put it in my sink through the little drainer part or faucet whatever you call it and um, I just get the kettle after I've boiled water and pour it through the syringe. You don't want to be holding that obviously when it's boiling water going through it. It's the method I've always used and I know you're going to lose the needle. There we go, it's a little bit hot when you touch it obviously and that's ready to go back in the packet. Thanks for watching.